When I finished high school, I knew more about Acadian culture than I did about Miigwa culture. And uh, to me, that doesn't seem... It's great that I know Acadian culture, but uh, it'd be nice if I knew Mi'kmaq first, right? To me, that's where I see us going, is that we need to, once again, you know, what, what's our stories, what's our history, uh, learn about our treaties, learn about our laws, our, our processes, our governance structures. Uh, how did we live beforehand, not just in terms of the lifestyle, but the beliefs, the values, the, the decision making. Um, what was important to us then and what's the, how does that translate to today? Because, you know, I don't want to, for me, uh, Mi'kmaq isn't, uh, it shouldn't be a history lesson, right? It's applicable today and it's applicable in the future. So we need to determine how that's going to be done. When, when we develop with the community a vision for education system and where we want to go, uh, what, what aligning these, the, the, the structure will do is it'll help us to reach that vision in a sense where at all levels how do we strategically take an approach to meeting that objective. So if let's say it's re language revitalization, if that's what we really want to do through our education system, how do we go about that? You know, what's done at the you know, pre-K level or even beforehand? Then what's done at that next level and subsequently all the way through up until the end that we are generating speakers? Right, so, so how do we all contribute to that? And I think that's, what's, you, well, that's one of the things you're going to get out of this process. So with the McGill program, you see an example of, of how we, we, we continue to take on different aspects of governance. We are doing it. It's just a matter of, of, of formalizing and trying to come up with a structure. Right now with the McGill program, we've taken the stance here in Lustigwich that the program, although it is a BED program from McGill, needs to be indigenized. It needs to meet certain criteria uh, for us, for uh, that, that stuff that's important to us. Um, you know, so that these future teachers uh, who are taking a program here in Lustigut are trained and knowledgeable in a certain way that they can then pass on to the future generation. You know, that, that's the way we need to move this. You know, we are doing some, some solid and concrete action towards realizing that vision of, of, you know, dictating our own future, deciding our own future. When we did the um, Bachelor of Arts Community Studies program through Cape Breton University, you know, it was, uh, it was groundbreaking in the sense that we had, you know, uh, over 80% of the students that enrolled finished and complete the program. They completed their three-year uh, Bachelor of Arts and many have continued on in other programs. Some in this BED program that, that's going on now and others have gone away to school. Um, you know, uh, the realization through a program like that is that you know, uh, when we're in control of our education, when we're delivering the programs, we can see tremendous success. And we have. You know, it, it's just that there's a heck of a lot of capacity in this community. And uh, when you're willing to embrace it and push for some things, you can do tremendous things, you know. And, uh, and uh, it, it creates a ripple effect that goes out. To me, that's what I see. So the, the beauty about the Bachelor of Arts Community Studies program wasn't so much that it was about a BA. It was about community studies. It was about learning about your community. It was about making a difference in your community. So the research projects that they had to do, the information that they got was learning about here and then how can you make a difference here, right? So all of these graduates are now out there making a difference somewhere in this community. You know, teaching that in Sydney wouldn't have had the same, same effect. You know, my, my, my background in education is that I've worked in, I started working in education in 1999. Uh, at the time, you know, it was, uh, it was interesting to see, you know, we, we had a school in our community. Uh, we had people from our community working in the school. We, we had a lot of good things going. Uh, and, and it was a step, you know, a, a major step forward at the time. Um, now here we are, you know, 17, 18 years later, and uh, it, it's been tremendous to see the, the change, the difference, the, the understanding and, and the importance put on, on developing uh, who we are, which was the original intent of the school. And it did that, but it's, it continues to grow and grow and grow. Uh, for me, it's, it's interesting now that we find ourselves at a time where, as Lustigwich, we see the importance and we see the necessity of, of listing which taking control of its education, not just in, in terms of a physical structure, but in terms of the curriculum, determining what are the outcomes, determining what's important to us in our future. And you know, that, that's where I think we're going to really see some major difference and some big changes, uh, you know, for the generations to come.